Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Live Album War, except we're not having a war yet today. No, nope, not yet. Today we're just going to give you a little preview of all the bands, or all the albums, I should say, that made it out of the second round or to going into the round three bracket. Round three is going to start up on Tuesday. Okay, so I know a lot of people were asking, well, Pete, you know, we'd love to know which are the bands, which are the albums that are going to make up round three. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you the matchups. I'm just going to give you the list of all the albums that made it out of round two and are into round three. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at that. So just going to rattle them off, right? Genesis Live. Yes, yes songs. Peter Frampton, Frampton Comes Alive. Deep Purple Made in Japan. The Who, Live at Leeds, Foghat, Live, Thin Lizzy, Live and Dangerous, UFO, Strangers in the Night, Grand Funk Railroad, Live Album, Uriah Heap, Live, Jimi Hendrix, Live at Woodstock, Blue Oyster Cult, Some Enchanted Evening, The Kinks, One for the Road, David Bowie, David Live, Traffic, Welcome to the Canteen, Super Tramp, Paris, Jeff Beck, Jeff Beck with the Jan Hammer Group, ELP, Pictures and an Exhibition, Heaven and Hell, live at Radio City Music Hall. Iron Maiden, live after death. Rush, exit stage left. Led Zeppelin, how the West was won. Leonard Skinner, one more from the road. Wishbone Ash, live dates. Journey captured. Kiss alive. Yes, yes shows. Maiden Europe by Deep Purple. Kansas, two for the show. The Allman Brothers Band at the Fillmore East. Jethro Tull per bursting out. Black Sabbath, live evil. Robin Trower Live, Motorhead No Sleep Till Hammersmith, Neil Young Live Rust, and Free Live. That is the bracket for round three. So what we'll be doing over the next um, probably week, week and a half, is a bunch of these, will, all of these actually, will go in new fresh matchups all right, against each other. And we'll see which ones win out of that. We're going to be doing like three, maybe four episodes a day. I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. All right, so we can get on to round four, and we should culminate everything pretty quickly thereafter uh, as we creep up towards the end of 2000, 2000, I was going to say 2020, 2019, okay, to crown your favorite live album of all time. So that's kind of the wrap-up with that, a little bit of news item. Also, I wanted to just kind of circle back, so I, I posted that rant the other day, uh, popular bands that Pete loves to hate, right? So... That was just meant to be a fun thing, something I really, really didn't want to do, but so many people were egging me on to do it, so I did it. And crazy enough, by far, it's been the most watched video on this channel in a good while. We've gotten a ton of people coming onto the pla onto the channel, looking at it, subscribing. I mean, the last, like, three days has been ridiculous with the amount of uh, traffic on that video. <laughs> most people really love it. we got a lot of people, some people who don't. All right. What's interesting is that, you know, people want me to talk about certain bands because I never talk about them. And then, you know, they find out the reason I don't talk about them is because I don't really like them much. And they wanted me to talk about why I don't like them. And then I talk, I have, I post a video where I talk about why I don't like them. And then people are acting, you know, the people who really like those acts act like them, attack, like I'm attacking them personally. It's like, it's got nothing, there's nothing personal here. Like I said, I, if you love these bands, great. All right. I just don't. And here's why. All right. I'm just having fun with this. Some people take things way too seriously. It's like, like I'm attacking them. And a couple people were like, because I, you know, said I didn't like Guns N' Roses or Nirvana or whatever the act was, they started like tossing shit at bands that I like. That's like, come on, don't grow up, people. It's like Jesus. <laughs> it's all meant to be fun, right? Um, and you know what's interesting? So you know, we've got a lot. Like I said, a lot more subscribers, a lot more people watching the channel. I was amazed at like how many, like in the last month. Um, but like there are certain people now who, and again, whether they're subscribers or not, or whether they just come here, you know, every so often they're saying, you know, Pete, you seem like a really nice guy and I love your knowledge and everything like that, but you take way too long to get to the point. You say it takes you two minutes to say what you could say in a minute. And I really wish when you're doing like top 10 song shows or your best picks for this or that, if you could just post them in the description so I don't have to sit and watch the video. And I'm thinking... But this is a fucking talk show. That's what we do here. It's like if I was just going to post lists of things and not discuss them, 
uh, I might as well just not do this, right? Because that's what video is for. Video is for to be able to kind of expand on stuff. That's why I, you know, started this up in conjunction with the website. You know, if you want, I could just stop doing these videos, the, the song list and my favorite this, my favorite this, top ten. I could just post them on, on my website on Sea of Tranquility. You could just go there and read them. But the reason why people don't like doing that is because people don't like to read anymore. So they'd rather come onto a video, quickly scan the description, and then not even hear. You know, I'm, I'm not going to just do a top ten song show of Pink Floyd and say, okay, Pink Floyd top ten song show. Here's number one, number two, three, four. Goodbye. Thanks. 30 seconds later. That's not how we do things here. This is a talk show. If you don't like, if you're not into listening to someone talk about music and describing music and telling stories and all that kind of stuff, then maybe this channel isn't for you. That's what we do here. I know we are in an ADD challenge society nowadays and people want what they want in like two seconds. But, uh, you know, I don't have the ability to just take everything that's in my head and impart it into yours without you having to either go read somewhere or watch a video. It doesn't work that way. OK, so if you're not into, you know, a, a fun, informative, OK, conversation that's going to take a few minutes, may take five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. It depends on the topic. If that's way too much for you, then this isn't the channel for you. All right. I know a lot of people who like listening. It's like it's like talking to a friend. Right. I always I always equate like what we do here is just sitting down with friends like at a bar or a restaurant or wherever, you know, at a ball game and talking music, just having a conversation. All right. If you're someone who just doesn't like talking to people, doesn't like listening to people, and your life consists of and that's all you do, well, then this this is the program for you. All right. So just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyway, visit us on the web at www.ctranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're here on YouTube all the time. A lot of stuff coming up this week. All right. So tomorrow, going to Rock Fantasy, Middletown, New York. Steve Keeler and I are going to do Leonard Skinner Top Ten Songs, Santana Top Ten Songs, as well as a program all about Rock Fantasy, Steve's historic rock fantasy store in Middletown, New York of 30 some odd years. Uh, he's actually closing the old location. He's moving to a new one. All right. So we're kind of going to talk a little bit about rock fantasy history and what everybody's in store for at the new location, which looks great, by the way. Really, really big storefront, a lot more room for all sorts of music, shirts, pinball, all sorts of stuff, right? So it's going to be great. So Steve's going to tell us a lot about what's going on with him in addition to doing some top 10 song stuff. Uh, my buddy Wild Bill and I, my co-host over at the uh, Comic Book Geezers channel, all right? We are going to be guests on Jeff Young's Music Without Boundaries radio show on Tuesday night, so you don't want to miss that. The Comic Book Geezers We'll be invading Music Without Boundaries, talking comic books, talking music, talking all sorts of fun stuff. So that's 7 11 Eastern Standard Time, www.jeffyoungjams.com. Uh, hopefully, while we're over there with Jeff, uh, I'm going to get him to guest on this show as well, maybe to do some um, Classic Live Album War shows as well. So we got that coming up. A lot of Classic Live Album War taping is going to be happening all this week. Okay, so that's coming up. Uh, in two weeks, Butch Jones will be here. Okay, we've got top 10 songs for Van Halen, Michael Schenker Group, and ZZ Top. You don't want to miss any of those. All right, and uh, hopefully I can convince Chris Allo to come by too over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I know he wants to help me with some of the round three classic live album war tapings as well, So, um, or, or round four, whichever. So uh, a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening. Probably squeeze some, some more rants. I, I am going to try my hardest over the next couple of weeks to do that, like, favorite album covers show that I've been talking about forever. Okay, so we're going to work on that as well. Uh, like I said, a lot more top 10 songs. Might do a couple of best to worst album series as well. So a lot of things happening. we got the holidays coming up. i got some time off I'm going to be taking so we can squeeze in all sorts of videos. And uh, hope you guys like them. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. All right, don't touch that dial. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.